Igbo, the great people in the Oma tribe. Una Waya, Lotanoro, Bikun Lotanoro. The great people in the Oma tribe. Una Waya, Lotanoro, Bikun Lotanoro. Document Yani in Yunu Guaosa, Emecha, Agagari Claire Mohanile, Chukoki Gabiama Sunota, Lotanoro, who won't actually charge on him because I'm an Ufo only Bumoni Biapa Yugu, Dimpa, Karanda will see you, Manahina Yunu Biku, Lotanoro, Lotanoro will be your man. A job is a key, Igbo, a Bibio, a banker, and all their plans living in the north. This is a clarion call for you all to come back home. A stitch in time says nine. We don't share anything in common with Hausa Fulani Oligaki. They don't value life, but we do. The Arewa youth speak notice each other has the blessings of the Islamic Nigerian government. This is how 1966 massacre started. Had I known, always come at last. Makana, Ndo Kaye Jazia. Don't say nobody told you. Lotabano, Ola. If you think we are insulting you, you are making a very big mistake. I you because you insulted yourself from the onset. Come to think of it. Have you seen an house of Fulani man rent a room apartment in Igbo land? Not to talk of building houses? The answer is no. Come back home. I am Hosoja. I am Hosoja. I can't cry again. Great Biafans living in the northern part of the animal farm named Nigeria. It is true the northern cities you sojourning is quite more developed than your homes. You made it and you build those cities you think you prefer. Come back home and let's build Biafra together. Now, Arewa people has asked you out. We all know they'll kill you if you don't. Don't make yourself a bad offering. Come back home. The second exodus of the Hebrews just begun. The kingdom of God is at hand. You all can hear the echoes of war and the sound of the trumpet. Our failure to learn from our past is the reason why we think Nigeria would last. Dad, mom, your children want to see you again. We don't want the house of Alani savages to end your days because they will haunt you by the day and night and there will be no government to save your life. Please come home, let's win this fight. Brothers and sisters, fathers and mothers, all the evils living in the northern part of Nigeria, please come home. That less than one the spirit is saying. It's a bit thin and one for Quran, what something them say. Kill the infidel and spread their blood. Never take the infidel like a brother, no matter how good and how related they were to you. Them say, we are not brother, we are not related, but we are sharing one country. If the foundation is broken, tell me what the righteous can do. But since they are standing short, they just shall live by faith. Come back home. Run for your life, when I say. I'm not going to be a good person. 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 I'm Washers, losses, Nayan Dioso. Now, Hassigilawa, Chai, Manasipa, Unu, Ugasigila, Tawa, Unu, and Yamekipano, Ebo Bioso, Eresuka, and Abia. My brothers, my sisters, please come home. Why do you want to render your children fear, fatherless and motherless because of ignorance? I have worked bitterly, my heart bleeds. Biko, Umuni, Latawamo, 
Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom. Um, very quickly, very quickly, we are not going to waste time. Very quickly, I want to greet many of you that are here already. Um, yes, our brother, I Corona, okay, yes, I have that noticed. I have to take it up, I have to notify that. Uh, you will not understand what Methuselah is passing through. And uh, what I'm passing through is a sign that I'm really, really doing a very nice job. I wouldn't want to brag about it. Uh, in as much as I didn't monetize my page, <laughs> but yet they're showing me only one person watching. <laughs> but I know I don't want many of you to start writing. <laughs> let me let me picture it. Now is two. <laughs> so if I'm a businessman, um, there are my my brother guy as Let me let me snap it. Uh, two persons as of now. <laughs> so what I know is not like that. Uh, can I bigger now? Hmm? <laughs> Biafra, if we are two persons, you know, so that is why we must continue with what we are doing. The music you hear, no, 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 don't worry, you don't have to bother. <laughs> you don't have to bother. Here now, they are showing me 86. <laughs> so, uh, these are the things we see. That you don't need to pay attention to. But let's continue. I just want to. I'm not going to waste even 30 minutes. And I have to. I have to uh, retire. I want to tell many of you the reason why it's hard for our people to return back to our land. I know sometimes, you know, when you will be preaching about it, you'll be thinking, nah, these are our people, they don't hear. I want to I want to put yourself in their shoes. Sometimes it's very easy to say, come back home, come back home. Some of them that I have established there, they don't have any foundation at home. That they have done nothing at home. Virtually, they have no house at home. I say they have no house. So when you tell them to go back home, and you know where we come from, some of some of our places are, you know, most people that are living there are those that are own the land. So Lagos is like a business place where some people build houses to rent out. Even some people that are building houses in Lagos, most of them are not staying there. Some of them are staying abroad. They build houses. So in other words, they have enough places for them to accommodate themselves in Lagos. But let us think about in the other way around. Sometimes they don't know the value of life. That is why when you talk about going back home, they see you as if you are talking to yourself. It's very easy. I want to talk to many of you that are in Lagos, especially those that are traders. It's hard, I know. Sometimes we will saying go back home, go back home. But I know it's hard. 
Where's that? Okay, passed. So, the reason why they, they are finding it difficult to go back home is because, number one, some of them have no pin at home. Some of them are like um, slaves outside. All their investment in life is in Lagos. And they are paying, most of them are paying rent in Lagos while doing their business. They are eating from hand to mouth. When you hear them, as if they are progressing, they are not too much, but they are not too much progress in Lagos. But at least the money is coming to eat and continue again to buy and sell. And because we are busy buying and selling, people who are promoting us, some of them are making us, they don't know that they are laughing at them. They will be telling them, nah, I did people without them. Nothing buying and selling will not move on. It's, all, it's them that is good in buying and selling. So that is why we encourage them to join this struggle. We have a structure already. Had it been there's nothing like IPOB, it will be very hard. It will be complicated when you tell them to go back home. Where did they start from? Now, some of the reason why they will not try to go back home is because of no access to waterways. Some of them that are doing shipment. It now comes down to the reason why Mazen Namdekan has been screaming. You can't run away from it. You see this thing we are in? It's like a vicious circle. You run around, around, you run around, you still return from that place you left. Which is what? Your freedom is not at hand. You need it to function like a human. Any day you have your freedom, nobody will threaten you. Now, as it stands now, they are threatening you with your business. And some of them know that many of you have no thing at home. You've never built even, even one block. It's not in your home, where you come from. Some of you are living in your father's compound. If you come for Christmas, highest you spend is four days. You call yourself a Melagosian. You know, some of you is bragging, a Melagosian. So, the problem, we know where the problem lies. The problem lies, you don't have waterways for your shipment closer to you. Even though you retire to, to, to Biafra land, you still need to clear your goods from wharf. Can I not begin to see why we are looking for such an end? Demanding that we must be free. Those things will be so easy for you. You know, when we are doing this, thing, some of you that are into trading, we are even fighting for you. Many of us are living in Western world. Some of us, some of us have established. You think it's Biafra come now, I will pack my load and start coming back home? No. We will be here and be building it. So some of you may be thinking, Biafra come, eh, everything will start working. No. You have a long way to go in building it to a standard. So when we are fighting for these things, it's not for our personal gain. I know many of you have already started uh, collecting position. Some of you have made yourself governor of one state in Biafra land. And that is why you see you people doubling into the rhetoric of state, the leadership, to look into what they're doing, who is embezzling the money. Because your eyes in position and money. The only way out is for you to join us in this struggle. There's no other way. I tell you, you can't run away from it. I'm happy for what happened to you, many of you, during this election. Had it been P2B won this election, some of you will still be sleeping. But because you lost, and you may like, your eye don't open. Even though some of you are still sleeping because you are waiting for a court case. Let us come together. We need freedom. Only us cannot do it. I have to confess. Forget about those that are claiming that eh, we don't need anybody. It's only us alone. No. Without you, people will go nowhere. So that's why we need you on board. And we don't need to convince you by word, by wordings, by, by our preaching. We are convincing you by the calamity that is befallen on you. Some of you think it's normal. Somebody will wake up and go and set ablaze your, your goose. The pastors, the idiotic pastors, will be telling many of you that once there's life, there's hope. They, if you talk, want to, any, any time you talk about to pull out, they remind, they remember that uh, there's nothing like United will start. A, a, a house that is divided. Uh, how did they put it? How is it in, how did that quotation is in Bible? Any house that is divided cannot start. You let us put hands together. Our side, Yoruba, Igbo, we are one people. Religious idiots are the ones that are preaching it. Let me allow our leader to roll for like two minutes before I continue. Thank you, Barrister. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. We must proceed. For sure. Very diligently, of course, for sure. and determinedly. Because we are ready to be Here, that is why we worship to Babiam. More than angel. You must choose one in yes, which side you belong to. You know, if I will say that is your business, here we worship to Kwabiam in truth and honesty. 
As I was explaining earlier today, when the white man came, they gave us no choice. For sure. You either took their God or you belabored something that is so heinous and is almost unspeakable. Now that we have discovered that they are fraud, that the religion they brought was actually fraud. Oh, how? Uh -huh. <laughs> we give them the same treatment now. For sure. Why not? We discovered that the religion brought by white people is it's a fraud. Akataka oh. fraud call is a is fraudulent. Oh, yeah. how? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go and read your books and do your research. Yeah. Use a little bit of common sense, you will understand. Yeah, you will see where the clues are. Where they hid all the nonsense they, they twisted the word of God with. That is why they themselves they don't go to church anymore. Yeah. Uh, uh, they brought to yeah. the Bible. They don't go to church. That's how it's not. You go to church. <laughs> They've turned the, 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 the houses of God that they have. <laughs> Tonight. Hey, come here. You go beat me. And I can't leave this thing alone. I can't. A any of them are preaching in this mood. Brother, that I'm useless. Any day I leave the way I used to preach, I'm no more. I can't function. He said they, are, they have turned their churches to nightclub. They have turned it to nightclub. Oh, I know. And they anchor about it. You could have to talk. Don't, 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 they bring division. God that is why they themselves don't go to church anymore. Uh, uh, they brought to the Bible. They don't go to church. The answer is no. No church. <laughs> They've turned the, the 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 houses of God that they have to a nightclub, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We continue. Yes, now. That is one in Brixton. You know, in, in, in Brixton, opposite Brixton Town Hall. You know, that is a bit of a quadrangle. That is um, the place that is surrounded by the one-way system in Brixton. That used to be a church. But on the, it's a nightclub now. <laughs> in Brixton, in London. Church, I can church my mom is <laughs> They are dancing there now, doing nightclub. <laughs> but they are the ones that brought you Harrison. Let's continue with this radio. Hold on there. Hold on there. That's some cool. <laughs> I'm a preacher now. I'm not in Abatala here now. I say I don't want to talk about this, but here about call again. Now listen, listen very well. The reason why we are preaching these things, I tell you, I will never problem any. I tell you now. Show me one pastor. Show me one Reverend Father Sisters now that are living in Lagos. I'm not talking those that are those that are living in Biafra land. Tell me the pastors and Reverend Fathers, especially this one they call Obikobi. Is he telling his people to go back home? Nah. Let me. I don't want to mistake him. I don't want to say something that I'm not. I'm not correct. Can somebody tell me? Ebukobi. Oh yeah, one year, one year, That's why I'm asking. Has Ebukobi say tell his people, please? Now nah, this killing has come too much. Let's go back home. You go in a church here about empty. Okay, we are gonna how gonna go now? I'm a chafancha. That uh, you know what I went it. We are going to Akachuko there. Hey, mm. you know, with time, you know, okay, to go come back. Hmm, when did you got the chamber? Oh, no, no, I did it. Oh, I went there. Oh, no, I did it. Oh, the preaching you are, you are going to get from them, they are not going to tell you retire back home, go back home. So, going back home is not only the ultimate, go back home and join the struggle. Our brothers that are into the region, I'm going to away on them. They are, they are slaves. They are born to slaves. They think if they, they threaten me with um, don't speak, the vision that I will stop. They don't know that they are even giving me energy to speak. Any day I come out here, I'm going out every Sunday. I'm going to go out Any time I put my hair, I'm going to repeat here. Because without it, I can't preach. I can't preach. That is where our problem lies. I tell you what happened in, in Finland. Many of you know now. The criminal now. All the Muslims ran away from him. They are not coming to the wife again. The wife that is a lawyer. Ex-wife. Let me put it in that way. Ex-wife. That's a lawyer. They ran away. Do you know why they ran away? Because he's preaching against the Muslim. In Nigeria. Afghanistan that Afghanistan and Pakistan that are living in Finland. They are not Afghanistan, they are fair in completion. They are not any any way biologically related to those in Nigeria, those Muslims in Nigeria, but because they are have the same religion. Oh, yeah, about religion. I think this Christianity is brotherhood in truth and every honesty that they care for one another. Who will talk against them? Is they crazy? 
What we need is brotherhood. Anywhere your brother is crying, you jump in there and say, what is that? Go and check all of them now. Even bishops that are Christians that are from Yoruba. Go and check them. Are they speaking? They will be saying, Jagaban, let's... Jagaban have already told many of you that let us pray. I posted it today. Some idiot are still commenting. Because they know that this is how to get you. Prayer. I think I have his um, broadcast here. I don't know why. I don't know whether... I don't know whether is what you have now. Or maybe later. You may not like it, but it doesn't matter to us. If you like, you accept. If you like, you don't. That is your business. We are continuing with this very article. You know, if you see my reluctance, you will understand that this article is so sweet. I don't uh, want to stretch it out so you can also... General Muhammad Buhari's political partner, his political partner, is a former bagman for two heroin traffickers. But that is not... Uh, that is just business as usual. In Niger if you're white, they know. <laughs> if I'm not a, 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 a wretched, I cannot, you know, you cannot make it to high office. For sure. Nigeria's election last month was celebrated as an unlikely victory for democracy in an African country with a tenuous record of free and fair representation. In other words, they are saying that the zoo called Nigeria has a record all over the world. For rigging the mm. election, you know, you, you, if you want fourth time, you can get fourth time if you have the money to share around. But the man most responsible for midwifing is called to nurse to bring out Buhari. That is the meaning of midwife to to preside over the birth of a child. That is why we explain English here, so you understand it. Somebody read that uh, uh, Jesus Christ was given a message from God to give to his servants. He said that means that Jesus Christ is God. Foolish people. Huh. Oh, that's Revelation chapter 1. <laughs> Beginning from verse 1. And we are done as we can. I see Jesus is God. Oh, we are coordinated on this struggle. Ah, ah, we are done as we can. We are done as we We are serious. I go no. We are creating awareness. I have been too struggle. I am beginning to struggle. Somebody like that cannot host, cannot hold position. On your chair, one here and there. In your position, give you another one. I try to make my head up, but you, yeah, because I don't need you. You should go instead of you. These are the, these are Jew men. When we are in school, I want to carry Jew, Jew, Jew men. And now you could, you could, you could, you could. They can't talk to women. You like a woman? Confront her. Talk to her. Talk to her. Tell her your feelings. And I, and I, I need, I need you guys here. On our behalf, your courage. And when the woman said, "Sorry, I don't have interest." You leave her because she's so honest to you. You can even, if you have money, buy something, buy a gift to her. Say thank you very much for being honest. Oh my God, I say yes. Here you move. But the woman t told you, please, I am not interested. Instead of you to just JJJ, continue liking her for the good work she's doing, you started to blackmail her with Jesus. Somebody, no, no, one. And the and way he's spending is that. This this hypocritical Christians, you are in a you are in a you are in a you are in a you are, you are a married man, you are in a marriage. You people are preaching one man one wife, one man one wife. And you polygamy. You are the one who I'm a polygamy in nature. Tell me all You, I'm telling you where you are hearing me. You that are married, you are not okay for me. I'm looking for another person. This is how it is where we come from. Yes. I, you, you, should I be hiding it? You want me to go outside and sleep with other women? It's better I'm married. You know that I'm married another person. I can't hide it for you. Are they grace? But when we try to be honest, when we say we are the not more go But when we make we cry the woman will say, "I am sorry, I can't." Instead of you to leave her alone, you now blackmail her with Jesus. You call in Radio Biafra to create this pandemonium that is going on here and there. The region, the region is him. Or they come something near you. Have I even called any Biafran before? Any media warrior before? And begin to attack him or her. Say, why are you against what we are talking? Why are you? No. I called pastors. Some of these people that are even against me today are giving me numbers of pastors to call. Out of a sudden, they turn against me. Because they don't understand where the game is coming from. I know that, that our sister came here last time to explain and say, no, it's okay, our sister. I've gotten the point. I know why I said it's okay. I know she's so much. She's angry. Had it been she didn't hold herself, she, had it been she didn't understand the, 
the, the struggle she's into. I mean, well, she would have quitted the struggle. See, is it how Biafrans are? So if they see an opportunity, they'll be chasing people here and there. You are calling a woman, in, you are calling a woman in a midnight video call. A coordinator. In which year? If she has a chaye boot up, which is all mad. Maso Jew, man. If you know the piano one pack, you, you collapse on your man in a boxers. That is why we must continue speaking. When Mazen Nam the kind of was preaching about this Jagaban, some of you may be saying, hey, you are propaganda. But the man now, it don't happen now. <laughs> Look at it here. Yeah. He said that is the name. If not for Radio Biafra, I won't understand how ignorant people are. I'm telling you the truth. Now you believe on a daily basis. You can do so. You are foolish and you come to make a fool of yourself. Nigeria's election last month was celebrated as an unlikely victory for democracy in, in an African country with a tenuous record of free and fair representation, which means, in simple English, a country of looting and stealing of ballot boxes. But the man most responsible for bringing out Buhari and his ballot box triumph over current President Goodluck Jonathan has a sporty CV. In other words, his career is checkered. That's how they put it. Tinubu. Former Lagos provincial governor, according to white people, that's how they're writing it here, Bola Tinubu, affectionately nicknamed Jagaban. That's what they call him. Maybe when, when he goes to, to lodge money in Switzerland, they call him Jagaban. Maybe that's what our whites call him. I don't know. But they call him, is it not, is it Baba Babushi? I don't know what they call him. Is today seen as a shrewd, if not deeply Machiavellian Spengali, which means somebody a smooth operator at the background. No, yeah, has he? Yeah? Mm. He is seen as his, as the as the daddy of Nigerian politics, as well as the architect of a hugely successful anti-corruption platform. The person fighting anti-corruption is himself the embodiment of corruption. And they tell you, he's the president now. <laughs> you know, I, I, you know I, that is why I know that black people can never see anything good in their lives at all, collectively, not individually. There is, you know, you can blame white people for everything in life. One thing they are not is hypocritical, collectively. Correct, correct. I live with them. Yes. No matter how racist white people are, mm. they are never hypocritical. Oh, how? If they hate you, they go tell you, say, nah, I don't need you here. Get out from this place. Their behavior will show you. Some of you will be telling me, Meto, this, this Christianity is the major problem we have. It will take us a long way. If the people didn't change it, this Biafra will be a long way. I don't surprise. Hannah doesn't have a comment section. Now let us stop this Christianity to bring the vision. We give them what we say, everybody. Including me. We don't deserve to, to exist as a human. You can't stand one place. You can't stand one place. Tomorrow you are here. Yesterday you are you were the other side. You think Mazen Namakan like that think we'll be following him. Stand one place. That is why it's good and very, very necessary for you to understand the reason why you are standing in a particular place. So that nobody will shake you. Many of you are asked, I have asked you, did you know what you are fighting? You just you think it's just to get a country called Biafra. I don't know. Sometimes I think our people who are highly intellectuals will come out and begin to explain what is the meaning of Biafra restoration. When we say we want to restore Biafra, what is the meaning? Some of you think that's restoration of like other countries. You know, this one has gotten their independence. Maybe in the after two years they started fighting. What we are fighting is emancipation of our mentality. Something is wrong here. Something is wrong here, I tell you. Somebody can wake up today and tell you in a newspaper that a man killed himself and run away in the newspaper. A national newspaper, people are reading. They don't care how will people see this thing. A man kill himself and run away. Snake swallow money. Uh, this money you are asking now, I don't know, is it mysterious? It's just snake. Snake swallow money. The citizen accepted it. No revolution, no rally, no protest, no gathering of anger, nothing. What they did was to use it for what? For funny and for jokes. Pranks, a William prank comedy, William Mary comedy. They have seen that the thing has worked. They asked them again. Somebody said, Monkey swallow money. They know that uh, 
you people are so used to such. You can't react. I see you see to me, make comedy. Before you know it, Buhari disappeared from the ass rock. They told you that a uh, rat uh, uh, bite everything, document, right? Uh, just destroy the office. Rat, destroy offices. Some of you agree. Now they have come again. Hey, you know, all who are the hey, push your little jagaban. Look what I care, Shemel. Only an agent, I'll They'll be watching you to see what, what would they do now. Now we have pushed it. Let us see them. Uh, 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 Mohammed, now nah, they are not doing anything, you know. You know, they were, you know, they were doing obedient to obedient. They said they have movement. Let us try them. Let us just tell the INEC chairman to just, it doesn't matter. Upload anything on the INEC uh, website. Let us watch for, to see what they will do. Uh, declare, declare Jagaban winner. Because that, that is the way, we, if you didn't declare him winner now, uh, you know, because of the running mate Shetima, you know, they have Boko Haram, they have uh, Fulani Hesman, and they are, they are they are youth with the religion they have they don't pray for anything they just react immediately that is the place we have a problem the other one the, the highest thing they will do they will call uh, god of israel where are you and then go to internet and tweet for international community uh some of their youth are into facebook this and now you know as we frustrate them without job uh many of even the those that study chemical engineering they are now uh facebook celebrity let us see what will happen hey union what are you doing about it now? Nothing. Some of you are waiting. <laughs> Let us wait in court now. If they do any, anyhow in court, they will see it. Hallola here. Some of them travel from here back home to go and vote. A lot travel from here. And I, I, I commend them for that, at least. Let, let us assume that they are commendable to travel to go and support their own brother. At least they are sure one thing that we Igbos love ourselves. No, we want to love ourselves. They have destroyed that assertion of Igbo hate themselves. So now they have rigged them out. The journey is not yet over. What are they doing? Nothing. You think they are going to react? The answer is no. Come in to, into IPOB. Let us teach many of you how to be resolute. Let us teach many of you how to be determined in what we are pursuing. Let us convert that you are arrogated into ideology. Into ideology. Because the reason why you cannot react, I, I don't blame you. You think I will be blaming you for not reacting? You think I will blame you for not voting? No, you can't because it is not an ideology attached to it. Who is Obi? Obi then. It's just what is a Nigerian. Who, who wants to die for Nigeria? Had it been Nigeria, is their country. You will not even be waiting for Obi to tell you what to do. Because you are not fighting for Obi. You are fighting for the betterment of your generation that is to come, which is Nigeria. What we do, you will go on, on rampage. That is what we do on rampage. And if you are not a hypocrite, it means you have conscience. Your viewpoint may be flawed, but it goes to show you have conscience. Bola made the Tinubu is part of the 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 Yoruba disease is part of the problem in the zoo. They are forgery, they are stealing the way they embezzle funds. Everybody knows. The same person indicted for stealing can come out openly using his newspaper, the nation, and he also his TV, telling you, we are looking to remove Jonathan, we want to fight corruption. But Tinubu, before you get into, there is a toll gate before you get into Lake Ibutoria Island. Is that not correct? On the left hand side is a twin hotel. On the right hand side is is a, what's it called? Shop right. If you remember, shop right lady. Before you enter into the um the the you know the um was the toll gate. If you're entering inside Lakey, on the left hand side you will see two Chinese named hotels. Is there, isn't it? Owned by Tinubu, by the water by the lagoon. Before you became governor of Lagos State, before you stole money from Biafra Land, because it's Biafra Land, everything you have in the city is Biafra Land money anyway, from oil. Before you stole the money that didn't belong to you to go and build those hotels, did you own a hotel before? The answer is no. Where did you get the money to build those two fabulous five star hotels? From where? From the national treasury, from the coffers of Lagos State, from the bank of Lagos State. You go and take money and, and you move out. 
the, the same person came out and is saying, I am fighting corruption. Huh? It's like Adolf Hitler coming out tomorrow and saying, I'm fighting genocide. Or go on to come out and say, oh, can you please uh, uh, prosecute uh, all genocides like myself? Or maybe, apart from me, I would coming out and saying, um, uh, I am fighting infanticide when himself is a mass mother of children. Mass mother of children. This is sheer hypocrisy of the highest order you can ever imagine. Hypocrisy. Black people and hypocrisy. That is why we are poor and wretched. No conscience. In a sushi, you are a thief. But I made it to be Yoruba. You people are stealing money. Yet you have the temerity and the presence of mind to say you are fighting corruption. The English word is hypocrisy. I must continue. I said I love this news. It was written by a white man, Michael Vice. He's here now, he's open. And he's been secluded everywhere as we speak. Uh, let's leave it here. I told you that I'm going to I'm not going to waste time. I just want to encourage our brothers in lagos to come and join us in what we are doing that's the only way out i know some of you are very foolish in the past you refuse to have a structure where you come from that is why it's very hard for you to go back home and, be, and start to become a tenant in somebody's house it's a very shameful to many of you some of you are claiming to be Lagosians. some of you cannot even speak Igbo. our papa say we'll be Igbo. i remember those days one big kilo there now one old she from lagos law home I'm a Legosian. I kill the one B now. Otiko, Otiko. I need to I'm in a place where they don't speak English. I still speak my language. I don't, it can, the accent of Igbo cannot get out of my mouth. Igbo. We keep on on. Why I'm going to go again. I'm going to go to I'm going to go And a guy who is a religious fanatic. A para Bible of Ben Sam Powers. Oh, Mom, I want Jack and Meha baptism. How one? Nami baptize everybody here. Mandy can honor, Mandy can honor, and I baptize them. Yeah, I want to correct the mistake my fathers have done, and I have converted my family, all of them. In any other church, agreeable. At least, I only remember Jidah. Let them go and the church to give them money. I, if you near, all of us are converted. Any I am question your go, I go agree bo. How many my church are going That is how we hold them ransom, and uh, they have stopped going to church for some years now, at least. Okay, why you she go down? But sometimes ages or how? Sometimes I met up. I I wear pro hanya. I met up. I and I fish a fish a body here and there. I do come on hand on. So that is the reason why I want to advise our brothers in Lagos. Very simple. I don't want to waste time. Very simple. Join us in this struggle. Join us. We are fighting for you. Those of you that are claiming to be obedient in some movement. Movement. Some of you attack us when we are starting. Where the movement end now? You people are bloggers, not movement. All these people you call it a all these they even miss blood. You think they like you? Tag it out. We must know who hate us. Hatred I won't have a problem. I hate you who hate me. I don't preach about peace to my enemy. If I try it. And we are too for that. That is one thing we must learn. That's why we say told many of you, Biafra is our religion. We want to galvanize Biafra, tell you how you're supposed to react. And I love that. On the Ruben one Nabal also. That is what the Muslim practice. On the Ruben one Nabal also. I, I love that so much. So that when we build on that, on the Ruben one Nabal also. When we see our brother in problem, we swing into action. Okay, my and I have bond ourselves together. And in other words, when we see our our country in this array, I'm going to end this like I said. We want to make sure that religion, the is our religion, so that we can hold tight to ourselves. 
be our brothers keepers care for our brothers when they are in when they are in, in need and uh, for those that are claiming to be obedient no hope is lost it's a lesson many of you have learned so we want many of you to wake up stop waiting for court case it's over or may that we swear jagaban in he's going to be your president if you want him to be your president let us have a full force and move in one accord we are going to get what we are looking for those are our governors politicians we hold them in ransom this election is our turning point and it has happened as we calculated it come around and be part of what we are doing we are not segregating we are not registering with money it is called family those of those of us that have been wounded those of us that have been accused falsely because of christianity some of our people have been sacked from this struggle because of false allegation lies and propagandas peddled by these people they call christians it is in you because holy spirit told you that this person has betrayed holy spirit minister to you we don't want such superstitiousness in this struggle we are going to focus that is why Mazen Nam the Khan explained to us here that uh, we have to make sure we hold on to what we have and um, I believe Chuko Kabyama will see us through. I want to leave many of you here. I think uh, this is the last. That is why they themselves don't go to church anymore. Uh, uh, they brought to the Bible. They don't go to church. The answer is no. To even right, the ex-president. I want to leave all of you. I have to leave all of you. That what Obama is embarking on is not right. But we have to wait to hear the news in full. I will start to hear. Yes, yes, I have to wait. So put it. We welcome all of you, and please don't forget to turn off your listening devices when you hear director talk. We are here for you. We are here to restore Biafra, and we ask all of you: do all you could, or if you like, do all you can. In the next two minutes, it will come to an end. We are going to convene what is necessary. I remain your humble servant. May you salam one name be To support this quest. For Biafra restoration. Take it to you, Director. I'm standing by. Thank you, Barrister. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. We must proceed very diligently, of course, and determinedly because we are Radio Biafra. Umu Chineke. Here, that is why we worship Chukwa Biyama. Modeg Enjo. You must choose one which side you belong to. In a far say that is your business. Here we worship to Kwabiam in truth and honesty. As I was explaining earlier today, when the white man came, they gave us no choice. You either took their God or you be labeled something that is so heinous and is almost unspeakable. Now that we have discovered that they are fraud, that the religion they brought was actually fraudulent, uh -huh. <laughs> we give them the same treatment now. Why not? We discovered that the religion brought by white people is a fraud. Akabaka fraud, or is a is fraudulent. Look at this. Go and read your books and do your research. Use a little bit of common sense, you will understand. You will see where the clues are, where they hid all the nonsense they, they twisted the word of God with. That is why they themselves they don't go to church anymore. Uh, uh, they brought to the Bible, they don't go to church, the answer is no. No, I go to church. <laughs> They've turned the, the the, the houses of God that they have the nightclub, isn't it? We continue. There is one in Brixton. You know, in, in, in Brixton, opposite Brixton Town Hall, you know, there is a bit of a quadrangle that is um, the place that is surrounded by the one-way system in Brixton. That used to be a church. But on the easy nightclub now. <laughs> in Brixton, in London. Church, Akataka Church, Mahama, is with a <laughs> they are dancing there now, doing that club. <laughs> but they are the ones that brought you the house in it. Let's continue with this radio here. You may not like it, but it doesn't matter to us. If you like, you accept. If you like, you don't, that is your business. 